Good afternoon. Welcome to the five, sorry the 8 p.m. session in the day of prayer. And uh, we welcome everybody online with us at the moment and uh, trust God for a, an awesome time as we spend the next five minutes together. It's an honor and privilege for me to serve you communion at this, for this particular hour. So I want you to just to draw your um, emblems close by and then we're going to spend some time just meditating and quickly going through the word. Um, the verse I've been given for this particular session is Psalm 23 and verse 4. And it reads as follows. It says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You know, this obviously is a very well-known psalm and uh, many sermons have been preached on it. Many times have people meditated on it and used it. And uh, that particular verse, verse 4, although the, the title for this particular hour is Walk in the Shadow, you know, if you had to focus on the shadow, the shadow talks about a place of doom, uh, gloom, despair, being down, and especially when it says the shadow of death. And uh, so I've never focused on that much. What I've really focused on is that, that word that says that, <clears throat> yea, though I walk through, and I've always focused and thought about that word through, through the valley of the shadow of death. In other words, I'm not going to get stuck there. I'm not going to stay there. I'm not going to go there and run backwards. I am going through. I'm going to get to the other side. I'm going to be victorious. I'm going to be able to, to deal with the situation. And whatever the circumstances, whatever it is that's being thrown against me, we will cope with. And that is the thought I want you to grab hold of this afternoon. Because although we're facing a pandemic, you know, it's an amazing thing that people have, since 9 o'clock this morning have been praying continuously right through the day and been able to bring uh, unity amongst us as we pursue God's uh, or pursue God in the situation, trusting Him to turn the situation around. And because of the unity, I believe that we will be successful. And I believe that this COVID has been stayed and it's been uh, resisted within in the spirit realm. And therefore, we will see the results in the physical realm. I've got no doubt about that whatsoever because of what's been happening and what's been going on. So in your specific situation, your specific circumstances afternoon, I want you to know that even though you might feel that you yourself are in the midst of the shadow of, the, of death, right in that place of, of despair, right in that place where you feel there might not be any hope, I want to encourage, encourage you. Focus on the word through because we are victorious as a nation, as a people, as believers, we are successful and we will be victorious and we will come out on the other side, even though things might look bleak, even though things might look not so, not so comfortable, even though um, we are under lockdown again. And although our freedoms have been limited, I want to tell you that we are coming out on the other side victorious. So as we meditate on that and think on that. I want you to take the emblems right now and let's just break bread together and let's just partake of the cup. We know that we do this in remembrance of what Jesus did on the cross. We understand what the, what the body uh, achieved. We understand what the blood achieved. So let's, sh uh, let's share it together. Praise God. <clears throat> okay, what I want us to do is just to get together, come into agreement, and let's just pray together. Father, we thank you this afternoon that we persevered this whole day. We've been pressing in, Father God, every hour. And we thank you that you have heard every single prayer. You have heard every single word that's been discussed. You've heard anything and everything that's gone on, even between the five minutes, Lord. And Father God, we thank you this afternoon. That, Lord, our prayers have been heard. I thank you by faith, Lord, that we have penetrated the realm of the Spirit. We know and understand that we do not fight against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers in high places. And because of that, my God, that is what we, why we're doing what we're doing. And we are trusting you for a miracle. We thank you that this virus has stayed. We thank you, Father God, that this pandemic ceases. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that health is our portion because of the stripes of Jesus. We thank you, Father, whoever is suffering right now, whether the lost families, Father God, emotionally, physically, it does not matter. Whatever the need may be, 
I pray that that need will be met in Jesus' name. So, Father, we thank you that you are pushing, we are pushing through and that you are hearing us and that you're, you are not slow to react and to, to act upon our requests and questions. So, Father God, we thank you for a quick move of your spirit, Lord, in this moment and in this day. So, we have an expectation to see the results of what we are busy ministering and doing right now. Father, we bless you. We thank you for it. We give you all glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, five minutes is so short as preachers. It's a challenge to see five minutes. But praise God. He hears us irrespective of the time. May the Lord richly bless you. Uh, we'll see you at nine o'clock again. Amen.